Do you think like a scientist? Turn off your TV because today it's time to find out on The Real Reality Show. Have you ever thought about how you perceive reality? Everyone on Earth sees the world just a little bit differently. But there's a spectrum of thinking that scientists are very aware of, helping to guide them to the best ideas about the universe around us. There's a fancy word for this, epistemology, meaning the theory of knowledge. It's enough to make your head spin. The simplest method of thinking is called intuition, supposition, imagination, speculation, inference, induction, inspiration, and revelation. These methods include dreaming about events and believing those dreams foretell reality. They're heavily dependent on an individual's psychology. The next method is authoritarianism. Why should you believe something is true? Because parents, peers, friends, teachers, religious leaders, kings, politicians, and professionals tell us so? Knowledge is often dispensed by them like a prescription and is welcomed by followers rather than leaders. Better yet are the rational methods, which include mathematics and logic like probabilities, analogy, and deductive reasoning. The best method, however, according to science, is empiricism. Observation, coincidence, experimentation, and standardized verification define scientific principles. Coincidental observations from multiple uncoerced sources help to cement the truth of a phenomenon, especially when it can be tested over and over. This process turns scientific hypotheses, educated guesses, into theories, tested and proven generalities. And that's the basis of science. So the next time you dream something or hear someone tell you something you should believe, think whether its connection to reality passes the empirical test. Then you'll be thinking like a scientist and seeing the best view of reality we can get on this little planet Earth.